All right, yeah, I just uh, wanted to kind of show you what I've got set up on one of the tables upstairs. So this is the um, Great War at Sea Mediterranean. I set it up. Um, yeah, it's on, it's on two maps. They seem to link up not too bad. Um, and I'm, it's based, based on the fact I was watching Andrew Chung's uh, videos. I think I've mentioned it repeatedly. Yeah, and I thought I, I'm going to try to incorporate some of this into my game uh, going into 1915 and beyond. Um, I may actually use actual things, but I'm, I'm more interested in just the basic combat system and the strategic movement. It's got a lot going for it as far as I'm concerned. I did want to pick up some of the other uh, modules, and they arrived today um, from a local, uh, from a lo uh, uh, another person in Ottawa that I've purchased games from. Uh, from before and I was like wait a minute I noticed that uh, he had um, one of the games on so I contacted him and I got a really good deal I was really surprised at how good of a deal I got I will start off with this one right off the bat though hopefully you can see it I want to see what you guys can see yeah I got the Tito game after watching Clark Commando 1983 uh, mentioned it when he saw I uh, saw the map for this I went wait a minute this reminds me a heck of a lot like a lot of those little mini decision games things like the campaigns of Mont Rose and Leto Vorbeck and all that stuff and I was like okay I want to take a look at this and here it is uh, that's that so I got that one and that's just more out of a curiosity thing and I got it as I said relatively um, uh, relatively cheap so all these are in fantastic shape they've never been played so this is the cruiser warfare for great uh, great war at sea Basically, I've got all the modules now that I want. There's a trillion out there, but I've, I'm more than happy with what I've got. I, I don't need to get go any further as far as I'm concerned. i got the Great War at Sea 2, uh, the North and the Baltic Seas. Yet again, never been played. Fantastic shape. And like I said, I got a really good, really good deal. I'm going to try to just use as much information as I can from these things. And I know I'm probably going to be driving people nuts now because I found out uh, I got to take a look at the battery. You know, it's starting to go wonky. Um, I was watching uh, Indy Nidale's um, The Great War series, which I like to do, and uh, he met, said uh, he called it uh, Jutland, and I went, "Oh my God, okay, I'm not going to call it Jutland anymore. I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm going to drive to drive people nuts." But I, I was like, I just I love love saying the uh, uh, Jutland. Uh, and that's the way it goes. This one is enormous. Uh, it's got tons and tons of counters in here. This is the one I was actually Andrew Chung was watching and uh, uh, whatnot. So I don't know what version of this is the 2006. So I don't know if it's the newer version or whatever. Like there was a couple of versions of this where it came out. Anyways, so that's that. I'm pretty darn happy. And of course, the Battle of Jutland is happening right as we speak. Um, just Awesome, and then I went off to it was Falafel Friday. I ended up not getting a falafel though. I went to uh, the, the thrift store, which is just up the street from it. And um, I was like, uh, uh, "Let's go and take it." Obviously, go and see if I can find some great war books. And on the way there, I noticed there was a chip wagon, so I stopped there. And uh, yeah, I haven't had I haven't had a good I haven't had good chip wagon fries in ages. So I did get some good books. Uh, you buy four, you get a fifth one free. I ended up getting six because I saw a Folio Society book there. I was like, what the hell? And it's in great shape. It's called uh, The March of Folly by Barbara Tuckman, who I think, doesn't she? Is that the one that does the uh, the Guns of August book? I'm not sure. But uh, you know, as you can see, I picked it up for $7 Canadian. Comes with a nice little bookmark. Cool. Uh, and it's The Pursuit of Policy, Contrary to Self-Interest, and so on and so forth. Uh, as per, it's in amazing shape. I just like I gotta get them. I'm gonna pick. Them. Like I was like I gotta pick this up. And I was like, wow, this was on and off in an off shelf, not in the history thing. Found this one, the 1914 Lynn McDonald. I've no idea. Like I said, it's, as long as it says anything about the Great War or whatever, you uh, and I can fit you in my backpack or whatever. You're coming home. This is the way it goes. Let's see what you guys can see. Yeah. So I'll try to bring it up more. So yeah, that looks good. Like I, I have no idea what it's gonna be about. Uh, general, well, I, you know what I mean. Not specifically. A classic novel from the First World War. Generals die in bed. Uh, bloody trench fighting, shattered, blah, blah, blah. Not to be overlooked. Classic from the front lines of World War I. Um, I don't know if this is fake or not. I have no idea. Like if it's fiction or not. This one I just, and this was off on the side too. It wasn't in the history section. And I went, whoa! In flying, I just noticed that obviously. And I was like, 
this looks, I thought maybe it was going to be a novel and it doesn't seem to be. Um, I don't think so. Take a look. But uh, it doesn't say there. Flanders Fields deals with the 1917 campaign on the Western Front, a campaign which was the quint quintessence of the conduct and experience of the First World War. Hmm. All right, and this one yet again is not a specific Great War, uh, World War One thing, but I was, it I was like the origins of Major War. Well, obviously, World War One's going to be in there for goodness sakes. If it isn't, there's something wrong. And this one knocked my socks off. I couldn't believe it. This thing's a fortune normally. I was like, whoa, wow, I got it. I got it for not a hell of a lot. Seven dollars. And I think I paid for the entire books. I paid thirty dollars Canadian, so it was pretty darn good. First World War and a hundred objects. And I was looking. I've been looking at this actually on uh, at another website, uh, Awesome Books. And uh, I was thinking about getting it, but uh, yet again, it was bloody expensive. Is this from the I? Is this from the Imperial War Museum? Uh, Imperial War Museum? Mm, doesn't say. Imperial War Museum, there you are. I thought so. I thought that's where I'd seen it before. Uh, something about it. That's it! Um, pretty darn happy. I think I've shown everything that I wanted to. I've got to go off and do my... Uh, uh, well, I've got the workshop tonight. Uh, the, uh, the Moon Group Writers Workshop. And then uh, just keep on trucking along for the live stream tomorrow. That's about it. Hope you guys are having a great old time. See ya. Bye.